Today's random question is, which game are you looking forward to the most, either Assassin's Creed Rogue or Assassin's Creed Unity? Let me know right now in the comment section below. Hey, what's going on you amigos? My name is Super Apple and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Rogue video and today we have 6 confirmed facts about this game and they are really really awesome. But don't forget to punch that like button below as always, the goal is if we can get 100 likes on this video, that will honestly be really really appreciated, but nevertheless sit back, relax, grab a snack and enjoy today's video. So yesterday was the day that Ubisoft officially confirmed Assassin's Creed Rogue and I'm going to be honest with you guys, for some reason I feel like a hundred times more excited for this Assassin's Creed rather than Assassin's Creed Unity and I honestly don't know why, but that is just my point of view, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to disagree with me. But I would say the main reason is because we do get to play the bad guy in this game and it just kind of switches things up a bit and that's what really makes this game a whole lot more cool. But I am going to be talking about all that good stuff in tomorrow's video but real quick if you haven't yet seen the trailer go ahead and check out the full Ubisoft video there will be a link for you in the description below but I'm not going to ramble on no more so let's just get straight into the facts. Alright guys, so the first fact is you can equip Shays, who if you didn't already know is the main character in this game, but yeah, either way, you can equip his deadly air rifle for both short and long range combat. And you can distract, eliminate or confuse your enemies by using a variety of ammunition, including specialised bullets and grenades. And this is the same rifle that we got to see in yesterday's trailer and in the screenshots as well and it does look really cool. Now, fact number two is that you can protect yourself from hidden assassins with your enhanced eagle vision. Constantly assess your surroundings and detect assassins hiding in the shadows, on rooftops or even in the crowds. Now, of course, this isn't a new feature into the Assassin's Creed series, but either way, it is one of those features that will always come in handy in some sort of way, so it's really good to see that it's going to make an appearance in Assassin's Creed Rogue. But now moving on to the third fact which is about new enemy tactics and you are going to have to defend yourself from assassins as they attempt to board your ship and overthrow your crew and you are going to have to fight them off quickly to avoid losing too many crew members. So with that said it is definitely going to be something really challenging in the game but I would imagine it's going to be something really fun to do at the same time. So the next fact is actually really really cool because it is about the new weapons in this game and these are going to be including burning oil which leaves a trail of fire behind to burn enemy ships and we are going to also have a puckle gun which is capable of delivering continuous machine gun like fire. So that does sound really insane but I'm just looking forward to leaving trails of fire behind me not only to burn the enemy's ships but of course to burn the enemies as well because I don't know why but for some reason it's always fun burning the bad guys or just pretty much anyone in video games at least to me anyway and if it doesn't to you then I just sound like a complete freak right now and it's getting awkward so let's just move on to the next fact. So the Arctic world in this game is going to be full of possibilities, you can run through ice sheets to discover hidden locations and you can use icebergs as cover during naval battles so that is definitely going to come in really handy as well. And I am of course really curious to see what sort of hidden locations are going to be included in this game. But now moving on to the last fact which of course is fact number 6 and it's actually broken down into 3 of the unique environments which we can visit. So first of all we do have the North Atlantic Ocean and you can experience the cold winds and towering icebergs of the Arctic in this expansive naval playground. Next up you can visit the River Valley and it does see a large hybrid setting of the American frontier mixing seamless river navigation and ground exploration as well. And lastly we do have New York City of course one of the most well known cities in the world which has indeed been fully recreated as it existed in the 18th century. So that is actually really crazy that we can visit all these three locations and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video for some reason I seem so more excited for Assassin's Creed Rogue than Unity but don't get me wrong Assassin's Creed Unity is looking really awesome as well. But Assassin's Creed Rogue is just something really different and I think that's just what makes it a really good game so far. And I know I can't really judge it at this moment in time since we only saw like a minute long trailer yesterday. But hopefully Ubisoft do release some official gameplay soon. But with that said, that does unfortunately bring today's video to an end. And if you guys are new around here, it was great to have you guys tune in. 
Thank you for stopping by. If you would like to stay up to date with more Assassin's Creed Rogue news and Unity news along with other upcoming open world game news, for example, Far Cry 4, The Division, Destiny, and much more. Please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. That would be really appreciated. And of course, you will become an amigo and part of the amazing, awesome, beautiful team. But either way, I will see you guys in my next video, which will be tomorrow. But until then, I hope you have a really awesome day. And adios, amigos.